Hello, we are in beautiful Boulder this morning, North Boulder Park here, hanging out with uh, the snow from a few days ago. We are going to work some Dancing Warrior sequences today. So we're gonna start with a little bit of Sun A, Sun B, get warmed up, and then really we're just gonna flow through Warrior One, Warrior Two, um, reverse and extended side angle. So if you've been with me in my classes before, you're super familiar with Dancing Warriors. They're one of my favorite sequences to teach. So we are gonna get right into it. I just need you to come standing at the top of your mat. I want you to bring your big toes to touch, put that space between your heels. And bring your hands to Anjali Mudra, heart center and close your eyes. So the first few moments, I just want you to kind of drop into this space. I want you to start to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. And I want you to start to find that energy from the feet, right? From the very base of the posture, spreading all the toes, rooting down in all four corners of the foot, lift the energy up the shin, engage the thighs nice and strong, feel the kneecaps lift. And keep bringing that energy through the low belly. So as if you're gonna pull that belly button back towards that spine, you're gonna feel the tailbone drop down towards your heels. Keep the energy coming up the spine as you draw the shoulders back and down. Good, and as if the crown of the head was on a string to the sky, the neck is long. Let's take one more breath cycle. Flutter the eyes open, taking in the sunshine, inhale, arms up. And then when you exhale, hinging right at the hips, you can bend your knees a little bit if the hamstrings are tight, if not, the legs stay straight. On the inhale, halfway lift flat back. I want you to draw your shoulder blades down the back. Now again, your knees can stay bent if the hamstrings are tight for almost this whole practice if you want to. Otherwise, the legs straighten up. Take one more breath in, find length in the spine, shoulder blades draw down the back body. Exhale, bow the body and drop the head in. Roll the shoulders up and back, root to rise. Stand up, look up, take it all the way up. Exhale, draw it to your heart. Second half A, inhale, arms up, reach high. And exhale, hinge forward right at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. And exhale, bow the body, drop the head. Inhale, roll the shoulders up and back, coming up with a flat back, reach up. Exhale to the heart. Third round, inhale. And exhale, hinging forward. Inhale, halfway lift, find the space. Exhale, bow the body, drop the head. Roll the shoulders up and back, stand up. Look up, take it all the way up. Exhale, Anjali Mudra. Moving on, Sun A, inhale, arms up, reach high. And exhale, hinging forward. Inhale, this time halfway lift flat back. Now you can keep the knees a little bent again, draw the shoulder blades down the back. This time I'm just gonna step back, plank pose. Now pause and plank here. <laughs> Your ground is probably not uneven like mine, so you can get a little better grip. But I want you to draw the shoulder blades down the back, and then I want you again, just like we were standing in Tadasana, I'm gonna draw the belly button in towards the spine and draw the tailbone back towards my heels. My legs are strong, take an inhale. Shift forward just slightly, keep the low belly hugged in and on the exhale, come all the way down. Hands move back about an inch or so, roll the shoulders up and back, cobra pose, keep the neck long. Exhale, coming down, curl the toes, inhale, plank pose. And exhale, set your first downward facing dog. All right, so the first down dog, I just want you to move organically. You can rock to the tiptoes, you can rock to the heels, you can sway it out, you can take the ne neck left and right. We'll tweak down dog as we go, but for now, just play. Good, and then I want you to bring your big toes to touch. I want you to look up to where you're going, okay? On the inhale, fill up, and on the exhale, you can step, you can float top of your mat. Inhale to find your length. Exhale to bow your body. Inhale, here we go, all the way up, spine tall, reach high. Exhale, Anjali Mudra. 
Sun A again, inhale. Legs are strong as you reach all the way up. Exhale, legs stay strong as you hinge all the way forward. Inhale, halfway lift flat back. Good, bend those knees. Step to plank pose. Take one breath this time, strong plank. Shift the weight forward, exhale all the way down. Inhale, cobra pose. Make sure the neck stays long, tops of the feet stay pressing down. Exhale, come down. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now you wanna make sure your hands are shoulder distance. You wanna make sure your feet are hip distance. And the tailbone is reaching high to the sky. The heels have a heaviness about them. There's no forcefulness, but definitely a heaviness that starts to wake up the back of the legs. Neck is free, jaw is released. Got one more breath cycle. Bring those big toes to touch. Inhale, look to where you're going. And on the exhale, you can step, you can float. Inhale, find your length. Exhale, bow that body. Inhale, stand up, look up. Exhale, draw it to your heart. One more time, here we go, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, halfway lift flat back. Exhale to plank pose. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale all the way to the belly. Good, last cobra here. Inhale, rise up. Feel that back start to wake up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. So like I've said before, your legs are really strong. I want you to use that strength in your down dog. Fire those quads up, feel the kneecaps lift. Tailbone is reaching high. So much to remember in down dog, yeah? <laughs> well, uh, we'll keep tweaking it as we go, okay? Big toes to touch, inhale, look up. Exhale when you're ready. Inhale, length. And exhale, bow it out. Good, this time we're gonna go right into B. Bend those knees, roll the shoulders back, reach your arms up, chair pose. Okay. <clears throat> now there's an arch in the back that's a natural arch, a natural sway, which is fine. We don't wanna over arch. So there's still a little bit of core engagement as we lift the low belly back towards the spine. And if your hands are tight, you can bring them down a little bit. Your shoulders are tight rather. Otherwise, arms are up, biceps by our ears. And we want to look back, right? Make sure you can see your toes. Rock the weight back into your heels. Fluff those toes up. Take one more breath. And exhale, bow it out. This time, inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Right leg steps all the way back. Right knee down. Inhale, anjaneyasana, reach up. And exhale, hands down. You're just going to step to the top of the mat. Other side, inhale, halfway lift. Left leg steps back, left knee drops. Inhale, start to reach up. Exhale, come down, step back to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen again. Exhale, bow the body, drop the head again. Second set, we're gonna bend the knees. We're gonna go right back in a chair pose. Good, this time I want you to take your arms, I want you to cactus them. So we're gonna create a little space across the collarbones here. Watch the low belly. Good, if you can't see those toes, shift the weight back. And just kind of breathe. If the shoulders need to move around a little bit. Good. Warming up those legs, take one more inhale. And exhale, bow forward. Inhale, lengthen it out. And exhale, this time we're gonna reach that right foot back and we're just gonna pause in a low lunge. Now I wanna watch that left knee. It tracks over the left ankle. Shoulder blades draw down the back body. If this is too much, you can always drop your knee down. Otherwise, we're gonna keep that knee up for just one more breath in. Find stretch through that back heel. And then exhale, step to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, other side. Here we go, left leg, step it on back. And take that right knee, shift it right over the ankle. Draw your shoulders down the back. So we're just trying to create some space in the front of the hip flexor there. Before we go into our warriors, take one more breath, long spine. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen it out. And exhale, bow it in. We're just gonna come all the way up, roll the shoulders up and back, come up, stand up. Exhale to the heart. Okay, ready to dance? Here we go, bend the knees, inhale, arms up. Exhale, bow it out. 
Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back to plank. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, flip the toes, lift the heart space. And exhale, hips lift. It's going to drive the downward facing dog. Good. Take a breath in. And you can open the mouth. Let it go. Here we go. Right leg high to the sky. And exhale. We're going to pull it through. We're going to drop that back heel flat. Roll the shoulders back. Come up. Warrior one on the inhale. And exhale. Open up. Warrior two on the exhale. Inhale. Reverse the warrior. And exhale, we're going to pause extended side angle first round, take the forearm to the thigh, reach the left arm up. So I want you to guide the pinky edge towards the front of the room, the room that you're in, <laughs> not the room that I'm in. And then we're going to take the hand up and over. So you want rotation before extension to make sure that left shoulder blade stays drawing down the back. Strong left leg back there, right knees trying to get to 90 degrees. Find stretch all the way in the left side of the body. Inhale. And then on the exhale, hands down. We're going to float that right leg. Go and we're going to take our chaturanga. Inhale. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take one cleansing breath. Inhale. Open the mouth. Exhale. Here we go. Left side, left leg up. And exhale to pull all the way through. Warrior one, make sure that back heel goes flat. Roll the shoulders back, reach the arms up. Exhale, you're gonna open Vera two. Inhale, flip and reverse it. And then exhale again, extended side angle, bring the forearm down, reach the right arm up. Pinky edge towards the front of the room, right, and then extension up overhead. And there's some space between that right shoulder and that right ear. So make sure you draw that right shoulder blade down the back. I feel it opening in the left hip, strong in the right leg. Take a breath, fill up. Exhale, hands down. Now you can float that left leg if you want to. If not, you can just put it down. Inhale, upward facing. Ha. Huh. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big toes to touch. Inhale, take a peek to where you're going. And at the bottom of that exhale, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, bow that body, drop the head. Bend those knees. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, stand, arms by your side. Whoo, second round. Bend the knees, inhale, add the arms. One breath in. And exhale, bow. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale to plank. Shift the weight in chaturanga. And inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ah. Take a cleansing breath in. Open the mouth. Right leg inhales. Exhale to pull through. Vera one, back heel goes flat. Here we go, inhale. Open it, exhale, Vera two. Feet shift a bit there. Inhale, reverse. And exhale, extended side angle. Now the option here is where we had on the first one. Or the option is to take that hand to the inside of the foot, maybe if you have a block. Watch this left shoulder, it's gonna roll open, left arm up, rotates and extends. Good, if the neck is bothering you, you can look down at those right toes. Otherwise, gaze is up. One big breath. Exhale, hands down. This time, right leg, send it all the way up. Bend the knee and hinge the hip, just for a moment. Beautiful. And exhale, put it back down, downward facing. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, pull it all the way through. Back heel flat. Inhale, Vera one. And exhale, open Vera two. Inhale, flip, find space in the left side. And exhale, extended side angle. Take the same variation you took on the first side. And roll that right shoulder down. Hmm, the sun feels good. Hmm. Take another breath here. And exhale, hands down. Inhale, left leg up, sweep it all the way up, three-legged dunk. And just bend the knee and hinge the hip, just for a moment to breathe into the hip flexor. And take it back down to downward facing dog, cleansing breath, inhale. Open mouth, exhale. 
big toes to touch. Inhale, look to where you're going, and exhale. Lengthen on the inhale, and fold on the exhale. Bend those knees, inhale, arms up. Exhale, standing, hands by your side. Third round, bend the knees, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down, and inhale, halfway lift. Keep that flat back, and bend the knees and step back to plank pose. Shift the weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, float it up. Exhale, hips high. Float it back. Cleansing breath in. Open mouth, let it go. Inhale, right leg up. And exhale to pull through, vira one. Strong in the legs. Inhale, right into those side bodies. Exhale, open, vira two. Inhale, flip and reverse. This time, one breath. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse one more time. And exhale, float it all down. Inhale, sweep that right leg up. Bend the knee, hinge the hip. And pull it all the way through. You can hook your ankle here. You can keep it floating. Inhale, upward facing. And exhale. Downward facing. Left leg up, last side. Exhale to pull through, Vera one. Deepen the hips, roll the shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale, oh, open to two. Inhale, flip it. And exhale, extended side angle. Ooh. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Find space in the left body. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, three-legged dog, take it up. Bend the knee, hinge the hip. Inhale, come through that chaturanga. Again, you can hook that ankle if you'd like. Upward facing and downward facing dog. Cleansing breath, inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Big toes to touch. Inhale, look. Exhale, top of the mat. Lengthen and bow it out. Bend those knees. Last time, reach those arms up. And exhale, stand. Ah, hands by your side. Ah, good. So, you can work that a couple rounds. Sometimes I put that at the beginning of my sequences and then add on. So as the classes get a little bit longer, you'll see that at the beginning. Um, it's a nice way to just wake up in the morning if you just want to get the body moving, get the body breathing. Those are nice, okay? So if you have any questions, write it on the feedback, hang out. Huh. Hopefully we'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.